Kubor Nagashlem to Nongsan Hima. Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital, Mentakasi, Kalas Dangi, Kajingraki, Kajingdap, She Spots Nem, Kajonka, Balapli, a Kaniga Jingraki, Dominthi Rangba, Ukonet K. Sangma. Yakajinga Langman play a Kaniga Jingraki, Napanong, her doctor, H. Gordon Roberts Hospital, Hakajing Donangi, Kindram, Kilindan, Nakiliang Bapir Bapir, Kinong Yalam Nyam, Kamtam Nakabalang Kasi Jantia, Presbyterian, Ki Doctor, Kidong Trey Jokanika Hospital, but Kiwe Kiwe. Kuman Shupin Kan Mao, La Pli, Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital, House Nam Katkandai Spa, Arpu R, Daulat, Jonga Jilla Assam, Usa William Maris, Hakajing Dun, Jong Kandai Potali, Gijing Pia. La Jutia Bru, Yakanika Jaka Sumar, Gopka Kasi Hills, Welsh Mission Hospital. Hadian Kajing Lake Pino, a Jonki Missionary, La Aino, a Jinket Kli, Yakatega Jaka Sumar, Shaka Kasi Jantia, Presbyterian Sinod, but U Dr. E. C. Sinkon, Ulasha G. Kum Senior Medical Officer. Komu Kong San Haganiga Sni, who conduct K Sangma, Haba Aijin Kren, Rai Kublai, Ki Doctor, Kinong Trey, Jonkaniga Jaka Sumar, Barkajin Trey Shitom, Kabakila Ai, Bat Kam Tam, Hakapor, Jonka Jingwan, Jonka Klam, Covet Katkandai, Bat Wulong, Bakaniga Hospital, Kala Ai Kambu, and Kajing Shakri, Bandrat Dinkong, Yaka Klam. Haganiga Sni, La Yoru, Ekajin Kren, or Sumbut, Mentri Rang Bakajala, Bat Preston, and Song, Kum Usumbut Kong San, Kijing Dwai, Nikinong Yalam Nyam, Kijing Rai, Bat Kum Juru, Kajing Pet Kopuram, Yaki Doctor. Hakaniga Klimat, a sultanat, but you don't lang mutaski. Hakaniga poor, but polite you can a balloon, cum, kadak, kajim play, yakanaka celebration, jonka centenary, jonka naka hospital, kublishu. Not only a poor, upon power watching Sukuman, Moyo Bandanang Rinkat, come tam, when you open Tahaban Raki. Yang dijaga identiti kasih pas nem, jom jing syakri, lembaga hospital, ya baru saudong saukun, kini kelong kesini kabangi ong, dia sikit letter red letter D, but at very same time, I may also remind myself, maybe reminding all of us that we are all called to be mission, we are all called to mission, not to be mission. Thank you. These hundred balloons mark the hundred years of milestone which this hospital has reached by the grace of God. to be part of this celebration and I made to understand today is the inaugural function which the celebration will take off maybe for another few months from now. My wish is to see 
that they celebration of the journey that we have for 100 years will ultimately translate it into reality in the sense that the services of this hospital will be inspired by all the residents of the state of Meghala. I'm so happy to see that the special guests, special invitees from outside the state, they are also together with us. I thank them and I'm sure the hospital management do have a close understanding, especially with Velo Hospital and other hospitals throughout the country. So friends, we just step into the celebration. I would like to request all of us, let us be part of the stakeholders in seeing this institution grows in the years to come. I'm so happy to see the management of these hospitals have discharged their duties without pain and with a lot of sacrifices to sustain and also to improve the functioning of this hospital. God will lead us for another hundred years and I'm sure God will keep showering his blessings to the, to the management, to the staff, to the medical officers, and all the employees of this hospital. And I don't think when this journey had started 100 years back, that Dr. H. Gordon Roberts would have ever imagined that we all would be here 100 years from then. Today, celebrating him, celebrating God, and celebrating the wonderful work that this hospital has done for the people of Shillong, of this region, and for the state as a whole. We look back at the way Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital has contributed to our society. And I take this opportunity on behalf of the citizens of our state to thank all the doctors and staff of the hospital, not just the present, but even those who have in the past contributed and worked towards making this hospital what it is. This is a moment to look back. This is a moment to thank Almighty. This is a moment to thank all those who have contributed to making this hospital what it is and for the numerous contributions that all the different members have made to society, especially to the people of Shillong. I remember two and a half, three years back, when we were all struggling with the challenge of the COVID pandemic. Entire life had just come to a halt. People were scared. People were worried. 
We didn't know how things would move forward. We were facing an enemy who we could not see and we didn't know how strong or how weak or how to defeat them. And yet during those difficult times, the doctors of Dr. H. Gordon Roberts Hospital and many other hospitals, I could see so many of the directors and medical superintendents sitting here on, the, on my right who are here today. I think this is an apt moment for us all to remember those days and thank each and every one of them for those sleepless nights that they went through, for having taken the risk of their own lives to save the lives of the people and the citizens of our state. It was a very difficult moment. We, we sometimes tend to forget because it has already passed us. But for some of us who were in the full depth of the entire fight against COVID, including Audible Deputy Chief Minister, I can see Bahek also here, and so many of us, we remember how Dr. H. Gordon's, Gordon Roberts Hospital had contributed at that time. And I take this opportunity to thank all the doctors, not just from Roberts Hospital, but from all the other hospitals, all the staff that had helped us overcome that challenge. And as I mentioned, even at the risk of losing their own lives. And that's the kind of dedication that we have seen from all the different doctors, especially Roberts Hospital. And here I would like to thank and mention the contribution of the Presbyterian Church. The way the contributions have been made to our society, to our people. Roberts Hospital today is doing an excellent job. But the entire strength comes from the prayers that our church elders, that the people of the church have been praying. The commitment that comes out of the doctors is because they know they are serving the people in the name of the Lord. This kind of passion is not possible without the prayers and the blessings from above. And hence I thank the Presbyterian Church for not just what they are doing here, but for so many other sectors where people's lives have been changed because of the work that they are doing. They've been healing not just the body out here, but healing the mind, the soul, and the spirit. And that is a dedication with which the Presbyterian Church has been working. And I take this opportunity to thank each and every one for all the contributions and the work that you've done in these past hundred years. I was very, very pleased and happy to see that the governing body and the staff and the team at uh, Roberts Hospital has not just remembered to celebrate the last hundred years, which is very important, to look back and see what they went through, improve on things that may not have gone the way they planned, but what is most satisfying to see today is that they have already planned for the next 100 years. And that is a true sign of a visionary organization, a visionary mission, a visionary team that not just celebrates the past 100 years, but says that we are here today and we are going to get there in the next 100 years. And I think I appreciate and I really congratulate the team of Roberts Hospital and the entire Presbyterian Church, the governing body, 
for having had that vision today. I'm happy to tell you that they met me, the governing body met me, and they've put in a plan to have the annexure buildings to expand the hospital in the next many, many years to come. A project worth over 50 crores has been planned. And this is most probably just the first phase because funds are not easy to come by. But they have a plan to see where they would want Roberts Hospital to be there in the next 100 years. And with this plan, we're moving forward. I want to assure the governing body that the kind of work that you are doing, we as a government are there to support you in every possible way. The project that has been put in is a project we will have to move with different central agencies to fund a big project like this of 50 crores. And I can assure you that myself, our Deputy Chief Minister, and the entire government, including the officials, we will support this project. We will move this project in Delhi. We hope that we will be able to get necessary funds, even if it means in a phase-wise manner, to be able to see that this new project of the annexure building and the extension of the hospital sees the light of day. So this is something that is very important, and I'm happy to see that it's happening. And as a small token, I know that it's not enough. But as you are all aware that every year, as a chief minister, I am given a chief minister's special development fund, which I have to distribute among different organizations, groups, MLAs, which I do. So from that fund, at least a small token of contribution I would like to hand over to our superintendent today. There's a small sanction letter under the chief minister's special development fund for a small amount of 20 lakh rupees from my Chief Minister's Development Fund. I would like to just hand this over to our superintendent as a small token for my side. Apart from that, as I mentioned, that we will continue to see on how we can make this project a success as they say, Rome was not built in one day, but we have to make a start. It is the faith that we will succeed and we will complete this is what will keep us going. And hence, every small contribution that we make adds to the overall goal that we are trying to achieve. And I would urge that everybody should work together jointly to make this project a success as this will be a blessing for not just the people of this area, but the entire state as a whole.